Come on, it's coming. Look, oh, come on, boys, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh they're again. tired. <laughs> Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's video. So, we're currently on a hike slash little walk with the boys. Oh my gosh. We haven't gone to a place where they can run free in a while just because they're absolutely the worst around people. They just want to jump up on everyone, give them kisses. But look at this view, it's so freaking beautiful. Storm! Get out of here! Storm! Storm! Caught in the brush. Storm, come on. Oh gosh. Storm, get up Storm. here. Get up here. Come on. <sighs> come here. No, Storm, this one. Oh gosh, go. he needs to go on the leash. <sighs> it's so hard to find places in LA. So we're super far away. This is the place where Daniel and I had our first date. Well, not right here, but up there in the mountains. He surprised me into Right in the brush. Right in the brush. No, it's much more. Wow. This is so freaking pretty. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, she has a selfie stick. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Oh, they love it. They love the freedom. Freedom fries. Wolf is the worst on a leash. He literally chokes himself. Oh, hey, no, Storm. No, he's gonna go down there and get bit by a snake. No, he's not. Look at the green. Wolf, Storm, stay. Storm, come. Get up here. Come up here, look at him. He's so crazed. Oh, they love it. Oh, they just want a big yard. Go off. Look at his back hind legs. I know. Come on, boys. <laughs> They're like little foxes. Hey, hey, get over here. We can't see you. Good boy, Wolfie. Wolfie, come. Come here, Wolf. Storm. They listen, but they also are nasty. Don't go down there. Stop it. Come on. They think Wolf, especially Storm, thinks he's like the Game king. The yeah. He's like, this is my dom dormitory. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Domain. Domain. Oh, my dormitory. Okay. We're gonna keep continuing on our adventure. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, she can't run anymore. What do you love? <laughs> She's just like the dogs. All right, put her back on the leash. Look at the boys coming. Look at, come on, boys, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh they're again. tired. You don't have any brain. Wait, have them go back okay. up again. That was right, so boys, funny. Let's go, 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 go! <gasps> Look at how fast Wolf is going! Oh my god! Okay, come back! Wolf! Wolf, come back! This is such a good exercise for them. Come on, come on, come on! Wolf, hurry, come on! Come on, boys, come on! Come here! Come on! Come on, boys! This way! Okay, go, 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 go! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Go, go, go! <laughs> I can't get over that. That's so funny. Oh, now they're wrestling. Oh, goodness. Good, tire them out for a week. Okay, so we've made it to the final point. It's like hey, this hey, confetti hey. thing. But there's literally a cliff and it's giving me so much anxiety with Storm. I feel like- wants to fly. <laughs> I'm a bird too! She loves the selfie stick. <laughs> well, it is the next day and got myself a nice little smoothie dam on here and I'm about to go get my nails redone. I'm so sick of these, I'm so bored of them. Nothing really too special about them. So it's time to get a remodel with my fingernails. So I'm headed to the nail salon right now. Got my drink in hand, I am ready to go. I think I'm gonna do something, honestly I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look at the books that they have at the salon and we'll see what they have. I'm excited. I have been a really bad vlogger this new year, haven't I? Yes, I certainly have. It's been a while since I posted a vlog. Just haven't really felt like doing it, so therefore I'm sorry. I'm just realizing how broken out my face is. Hello, pimples. Hello, acne. Gorgeous, wonderful, great way to start my day. So I think the last thing that I left off with was about my nails. So I got my nails done. Let's see if we can get a nice close up. Wow, gorgeous iridescent hollowness. Beautiful. I'm obsessed with these. Freaking amazing. But anyways, I just felt inspired right now to vlog. <sighs> just to update you guys with everything that's been going on. So it's New Year's. New Year, new me. Oh my God, I can't wait. Uh, I'm excited. 
I, uh, I guess, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I feel like it's exciting to have like a fresh start. Even though it doesn't really feel like a fresh start, it kind of does. I don't know. It's weird. It's literally just a next day. But I don't know. At the same time of it being exciting, it's also been stressful in a way for me. Just because, like in December, it was easy for me to like keep going and posting videos consistently. Because I was like, oh, this is easy. Like I just have to get these 30 videos done. And then I have to do it all over again <laughs> for the rest of the next year. Um, and I came across the vlog that I decided I was going to first start daily vlogging. So I am home. It's starting the new year. It is freaking 2012 and I think my new year's resolution, I don't really know. What should my new year's resolution be? Actually, I know what my resolution is. It's going to be to vlog every single day in 2012. So I'm going to try it. I know a lot of you guys were asking me to do it, so figured I would give it a try. And so, it was just so weird, because that was literally four years ago that I made that decision. And since then, I've been daily vlogging. And as you guys know, I miss a couple days here and there. Never more than one day in a row. It's usually like a day, I'll post a vlog, and then there'll be more vlogs, and then I'll miss a day. But anyways, it's so... I don't know, I needed to start getting on a schedule where I film multiple in one day. That way I'm not killing myself every single day and not enjoying life. And I think one of my biggest New Year's resolutions is to, I guess, live more in the moment of what life is going on with. I feel like a lot of the times I can't enjoy things because I'm constantly stressed out about what am I going to post the next day. I don't get to enjoy life as much because I'm constantly stressing myself out. So that's a big thing. And I've considered, like, am I going to be daily vlogging still this year? <sighs> and I have to, like, figure that out. I mean, is that vlogging what I'm doing? Right now, I call this vlogging. But when I sit down, eh, I guess whatever. Just sitting in front of a camera is vlogging. So I have to make that decision. I think it's going to be a yes because I, I feel like I'll be so lost and weird without posting daily. <laughs> daily in quotes. So I think I am going to continue. Because <laughs> why the hell not? But there needs to be some serious changes in how I go about filming because I can't keep living my life this way. And no way am I complaining about my job because it's everything to me and I love it. And it gives me so many opportunities and fulfills my life in many ways. There's a hair on the line, sorry. Snatch that off. I think it's, <laughs> I've seen so many videos of people being like 2016 was like the worst thing ever and then they list off like a bunch of really amazing and awesome things that happen and i'm just like really if anyone else had those things happen in their life i'm pretty sure that would be the best year of their life <laughs> um so yes a lot of bad things did happen in 2016 in the world in general but i don't know I really enjoyed my 2016, aside from those crazy, horrific things that have gone on. Um, a lot of really good things happened to me, and the good will always outweigh the negative in my life. I think that's just my outlook on life, and um, maybe that's a way that you guys can carry on into 2017 if you have kind of a negative outlook on last year. Just focus on the positive, and then you don't have to worry about the crazy worst year of your life. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what else to talk about right now. I'm talking about it. I'm going to the gym. Oh, you know what? Let me talk about my New Year's resolutions because I just want to do that. I like to document those things. So I wrote them down in my notepad. Let's see, shall we? Okay, first one is to make Children of Eden into a movie. That's gotta happen. That's my main focus this year. Uh, make a second book of Children of Eden. Uh, third one is take a shirtless pic because I'm fit. <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to like be confident and happy with my body and get it to a place that I've always wanted. I remember like a couple years ago, I would call my future body the Finnick body, so. I want that Finnick body, finally. Finnick body, finally. Uh, next one is to film season two of Storytellers. What the hell? Where is that? I don't know. We finally finished all the scripts, so now it's time to get down to business. Uh, the next one is to make another song. Uh, I did Don't Wait like a year and a half ago. I want to do another song this year. It's been a really long time. Uh, the next one is to help save the planet in any way that I can. I really want to get more into um, like helping 
and just trying to save our planet from the destruction that's happening and it's so sad and so scary and I want to do anything I can. I think that's one of my biggest passions recently, um, aside from my creative projects, is to do that. Uh, the next one is to go back to Japan. The next one after that is to cut out the negativity in my life. And that mostly just means like the people in my life and the situations that happen just to not associate myself with the people that are bringing me down and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I want to stand up for myself and for what's right. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at that, of speaking my mind and sticking up for myself. Uh, and it's just something I want to keep growing. Uh, the next one is to get a third dog. Ah. Uh, I'm just addicted. I feel like it's like a collectibles thing. Like I just want another cute puppy. <laughs> After that, I want to create a short film and then I will, oh, I kind of, I want to get a movie deal. So maybe aside from Children of Eden, cause you know that's going to take forever to get that one made. So I want to get two movie deals. <laughs> Because why just have one when you could have two, right? And then the next one is to be happy. I just want to constantly uh, be happy in my life. I know everyone has sad moments, but I just want to look back on my years and feel like I was happy. And that's, I think, what's most important in anyone's life is to be that. And the last one, I think I'll add more eventually, is to help others who deserve help. So in life, I feel like helping people obviously is really good, but some people deserve it more than others based on their actions and what they do in this world and life. Um, so I just want to help the people who actually deserve the help. So anyways, those are my resolutions, but I don't really call them that. I call them goals of 2016 and I plan on accomplishing all of them. So putting that out there, these will all be accomplished. I can look back on this and be like, cool. I did that. I got a six pack. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys. Happy freaking new year. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for just being there and watching my videos. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm getting a little emotional, so I'm just gonna stop. Um, no, but really, it's, it's so weird looking back on these past. It's also the sixth, sixth year of me in LA. And just imagining moving out here with literally only a couple thousand dollars in a dream. <laughs> and to look back at all I've accomplished in this time is insane. And holy crap, this is almost 10 minutes of me just sitting here vlogging. Um, I'm gonna go. I love you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good damn bye.